You're, you're, nothing you're, to do you're with it. Mistaken, and, Senator. And it's not there, an American nothing, statement in any there was respect. Nothing, there, was no, there was no condemning the attacks that not occurred. When the attacks occurred, of course the administration came out and condemned that. Let me ask you about some of the criticism from Republicans. Well, Laura, again, Peggy I would, Noonan I would said, ask you to, ask sometimes you to look at when the really White House bad things happen, sometimes when, Peggy Noonan, sometimes when really bad things happen, when hot things happen, cool words or no words is the way to go. Nick Burns, the former U.S. ambassador to NATO, who I know you know well, served under President George W. Bush, who you worked with as well, said, frankly, the charges Romney made were not only completely untrue, but reckless and irresponsible. Mike Rogers, Republican, chair of the House Intelligence Committee. I'm not exactly sure what Governor Romney was talking about. These are Republicans who are saying that Governor Romney stepped in it. Well, again, what he was talking about was in the context of the assaults, and that's when it occurred the night before what happened in Libya, but after the assault on the U.S. Embassy in Egypt, that the first statement from the U.S. government should not be making apologies. It should be instead condemning the attacks. It's a pretty simple statement, Nora. And again, I would ask you to look at what the White House said about it later, which is they thought that was not the appropriate response. So I, I, you know, I, I don't think it's all that complicated. I think he saw something that appeared to be inappropriate because it was talking about an apology before condemning the attacks and made a statement about it. And look, we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're Americans first. All of us are concerned about what's happening, not just in Egypt, but now in Libya, now in Yemen. Uh, certainly, we send our condolences to the families of these brave Americans who lost their lives in Libya. We need to pull together uh, as, as a country. But on the other hand, when there's a statement issued by the U.S. government that appears to be apologizing and implicitly saying, you know, there must be some reason for this, um, you know, that, that, that concerns us because what we want to be sure these other governments are saying to their people and that the message is clear is that in no case are these kinds of attacks appropriate or justified. And uh, so I think that's simply what he was trying to communicate. All right, Senator Rob Portman, thank you for joining us.